Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back on this lovely sunny morning, and this is one of the best days I've ever had on the channel. We've just surpassed 400,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you enough guys from the bottom of my heart. On top of that, we've just received a new update from Supercell for COC, which has just been released on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are now going to be able to attack every single one of our clan mates in friendly battles. Yes, you heard it right, my friends. We are going to be able to do a friendly challenge against our own clanmates. So from the mouth of Supercell themselves, introducing the friendly challenge. Friendly challenges let clanmates attack one another for practice, competition, or just plain fun. Friendly challenges are unlimited and won't cost gold or consume troops, spells, heroes, or traps. You also won't earn resources, trophies, or either bonuses. That is absolutely awesome. So just before we do carry on reading the rest of the uh, the information released by Supercell on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, if you do want to see the official post, guys, one of the most controversial topics talked about when this has been seen a couple of hours ago is basically, won't you just be able to copy the enemy clan war bases and get your clan mates to learn how to three-star them? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see when the update is launched in maybe a few days' time, guys, how it goes down. But let's continue reading their actual work, uh, the post they released. So issuing a friendly challenge. To invite your clan mates to attack your village, look for the new challenge button at the top of the clan chat. You can choose between your active layout or any other valid save layout that you have within your system, guys. You know you have three save layouts for the, uh, the normal multiplayer, and then I think you have three for war. So you can change between any single one of them, including war bases, it says. So add some custom text or don't, and post a friendly challenge to the clan chat. It's as simple as that. So it literally sounds so simple, so awesome, you can challenge the other 49 members inside of your own clan to come and take on your base, and of course you can attack their bases as well. So once you've posted, any member of your clan can accept the friendly challenge and launch an attack against your chosen layout. Don't worry, as I said, they won't be able to steal any of your resources or trophies. Any troops you have in your clan castle at the time you post will be used as defensive troops, but you won't lose them either. So it's absolutely awesome that Supercell has decided to finally incorporate this into the game. In fact, this was one of the things that I mentioned in the uh, the 15 update ideas about a week or two ago. And it is insane that they have finally decided to incorporate this because it really will make the game a lot more interactive, especially making your clans, bringing your clan mates closer together. So I don't know about you guys, but I am really loving the most recent updates that Supercell are releasing. And if you've made it this far into the episode and also love the most recent two to three updates and want this to continue, we want to see these sorts of updates, but even on a bigger scale brought into the game within the next year, guys. Then every single one of you go down into that comment section and comment hashtag thank you Supercell. Literally just show a little bit of appreciation, guys, if you really are enjoying the most recent updates. Hopefully it will get them to continue to bring out these insane changes which are really making this game great again. So for anyone wondering why Supercell have decided to do this, they've basically said they just want you to have a better experience within the game. They want there to be more diversity, they want you to increase your skill level, they want you to try out new army compositions, they want you to try new crazy attacks, new crazy defenses, new different layouts that have never been seen before. It has taken the game to a whole new level and there isn't one thing that I can say that is going to be bad about this update guys. I don't think there is going to be one thing that will really be too controversial. I think this is absolutely awesome and is going to change the game in such a great way. So just to close off this episode, guys, they have also announced we are going to be receiving a one gem boost for this update, which, you know, you can't complain. I mean, you honestly can't complain. Two weeks ago, we got the, uh, the reduced time for training troops like the Golems, the Lava Hounds. They were reduced by three times, which is awesome because it literally decreases the amount of gems you need to use the amount of uh, just time you need to use to play the game they then decrease the spells by half every single spell you honestly cannot complain they decrease the hero regeneration time for the king and the queen not quite the grand warden but the king and the queen by about 60 percent which is massive they are losing thousands if not millions of gems here guys but they are making all the players happy which is really what matters and then of course today they have dropped a happy bomb on the entire community saying that we can now attack our other 49 clan mates in a friendly battle, which doesn't affect resources, trophies, anything whatsoever. Not even the clan castle gets affected. So you know what this means for me, guys? This means that we are going to be bringing troll episodes back to the channel on a whole nother level. 
I'm going to use my clan mates to take on some of my best troll bases I can ever make. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days to weeks, guys. This is going to be awesome, and I'm hoping there is also going to be a massive new update. Maybe a new defense, maybe some new troops coming within the next couple of weeks. Maybe even within the next few months, guys. But you know what? The future is definitely looking bright for this game. I, w I can see another two to three years at least for this game if they continue these awesome updates. As I said, hopefully a new troop is brought in. And just a few new defenses, maybe a few new features. That is all we can hope for, but definitely looking great, guys. I would say the release of Clash Royale a few months ago has made the actual developers of COC realize that they needed to make these changes to keep the game alive and, of course, keep the millions of players interactive, guys. So I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time for the second episode. Drop a like down below if you have enjoyed this video and, of course, love the new content being released by Supercell. Don't forget, this is the final chance to enter the 400,000 subscribers a giveaway before we do the big one next week. If you want the chance to win 14,000 gems, simply leave a like down below to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the giveaways, the winners, and of course the content. And then enter the free raffle link in the description box down below. I will see you shortly guys. Have a great day. Peace out.